Welcome to Fox Tech. If new apps keep appearing on your iPhone and you want to stop them from installing automatically, or if you want to block app downloads entirely, here's how to do it. First, open settings and scroll down to apps. From the list, find App Store. The apps are sorted alphabetically, so it should be easy to locate. Inside the App Store settings, look for the automatic downloads section. If this option is turned on, any apps downloaded on another device using the same Apple ID, like an iPad, will automatically install on your iPhone as well. To stop this, simply toggle it off. This way, apps downloaded elsewhere won't appear on your iPhone unless you install them manually. If you want to completely block app installations, you'll need to adjust some additional settings. Open settings again and go to screen time. This is where you can manage restrictions for app usage and downloads. Tap on content and privacy restrictions and turn the feature on if it's not already enabled. Next, select iTunes and App Store purchases to access the installation settings. Here you'll see an option for installing apps. Set this to do not allow to prevent any new app downloads. Once this is enabled, the App Store icon might even disappear from your home screen, meaning no one will be able to install new apps unless the setting is reversed. For even more control, you can also disable in-app purchases and app deletions in the same menu. This ensures that apps can't be removed or used to make purchases without permission. If you're setting up restrictions for a child's device or simply want to control app access more strictly, these options can be really useful. Finally, restart your iPhone to apply all the changes properly. Once your device turns back on, try searching for the App Store. If the settings were applied correctly, you won't be able to install any new apps. That's it. Now you know how to stop automatic app installations and block new downloads entirely. If this helped, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Fox Tech for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.